It's good to be with you. Welcome to Class Outside. Today, we're going to learn how to copy textures from one mesh to another. When converting high poly models to low poly models in Blender, the textures can become misaligned or lost altogether. This process can transfer textures from your high poly mesh into your low poly one. To do this, we will need a source model with the textures, as well as a destination model. I will be using this banana from Mato Yusuke Photo for the source model. The destination model will be a lower poly version. To find out how to make lower poly meshes, I've linked this down in the description. We will also need a 3D modeling software. I will be demonstrating with Blender. To start, you will need your two meshes in Blender. I've already made a low poly version of this banana to move the textures to. I've followed steps similar to the make any mesh into quads video linked down below. For the time being, I will name mine source and destination so I don't get confused. Next, remove any armatures from both of them. You may re-add them afterwards. For help with this, I've linked a detailed walkthrough in the description. Keep your two meshes overlapped. If your meshes are besides each other, this process probably won't. We're going to want to go around our destination model and mark some seams. These should cover logical areas that, when unwrapped, will hopefully flatten well. You may think of unwrapping just like unwrapping a gift, like paper on a present. The UV areas we define will be logically spread out for us to map our textures onto. To mark a seam, you go to Edit Mode, select Consecutive Vertices or Edges, press Ctrl E and choose Mark Seam. Or, when you have your vertices selected, you may choose UV then mark seam. You may select a path or line of vertices all at once by selecting the first vertex or edge. Hold Ctrl and select the vertex or edge which would end the line. Blender will search for the shortest path between the two vertices chosen and select it all. Where you choose to mark seams will be different depending on your model. Usually you can start by outlining the key features. In this case, I'll be outlining rings on the base and stem as well as the banana's peels. Then, open a UV editor panel. Select your mesh and change to edit mode. Click A to select all vertices. Then, click U and then unwrap. If it doesn't come out completely right the first time, don't worry, we can always update this. After marking all of the obvious seams and unwrapping, I inspect the outcome in the UV editor. These lines are like paper of our present or the peel of our banana. If we see clumps or vertices really close together, this will lead our textures being copied over to be very zoomed or distorted in these areas. Try to identify these parts by selecting areas of your mesh in the viewport. Once identified, try to mark new seams in these areas, then select all vertices and unwrap. Repeat this process until you are satisfied with the results in the UV editor. As long as the details you believe are important look okay, it should be good to move forward. Now, with your low poly model selected, open the material properties menu. This looks like a checkered sphere. Use the minus sign in the menu to remove any materials from your destination mesh. Then, use the new button to add a new material and set it to diffuse BSDF. Open the shader editor window, press shift A, go to textures and select image texture. Connect the image node to the diffuse node. Click new on the image node and set it to your desired resolution. This can vary depending on the resolution of your source texture and the desired resolution of your target texture. If you don't know what resolution you want, you can start with the default and tweak this later. Next, we're going to create something called a cage. This should help to better transfer our textures. The name cage suggests this will surround or confine something. That's exactly what it will do. We want a cage to surround our source model. First, duplicate our destination model. I'm also going to name our duplicate as cage. Open edit mode. Next, we're going to inflate our vertices. Click A to select all, then Alt S. Now gently move your mouse up and down to adjust the level of inflation. We don't need it to be huge just slightly bigger than our source mesh. This process will work for many models. For some models, inflation may cause vertices to overlap each other and continue to produce weird texture mapping. In cases like that, you should try repeating this process for specified groups of vertices. Perhaps someday I'll have a tutorial for this too. 
We need to set up a few of Blender's settings to get this right. Select our destination model, not the cage, and go to Render Properties. That's the little camera. Set Render Engine to Cycles. If your machine has a dedicated graphics card, I'd suggest setting the device settings to GPU. GPU or CPU will work, it just might be faster this way. Scroll down to Bake and set Bake Type to Diffuse. Set Contributions to Only Color and click the Selected to Active checkbox. Click Selected to Active, then select the Cage checkbox below. Click the Dropper and then click our Cage object in the Inspector. Let's make sure the source model is set to the texture we want to transfer. That looks good. Click the source model, then hold down the control key and click our destination model. Go back to that render properties tab with the camera and click bake. Let's hide our cage in source meshes to see the result. Wait for the loading bar at the bottom of the screen to finish. Once complete, let's hide our cage in source meshes to see the result. Look at that. Together we have copied our textures from one model to another. Please let me know down in the comments what you thought of this video. Have a great day and thanks for attending class outside.